Hello YouTube. Wait, I gotta uh, do the white balance. There you go. Um, today I'll be teaching you how to calibrate a Mac OS monitor. Um, there's not a lot of great calibration. There's not. Oh, where you at? There's not a lot of great calibration. And I have a 2011 MacBook going into uh, my 4K monitor. Now it's only shooting um, 1080 um, Full HD, but I use this to edit like 4K and stuff. And oh, sorry about that. Um, but let me show you and get to it. Now, when you have your stuff connected, you're gonna want to connect to. Um, you're gonna go up here. You're gonna go to System Preferences, and you're gonna go to Displays. Right now, they show all of these things. Right, different kind of color calibration. Let's go delete this profile real quick. Delete. Um. You're probably gonna want to go to whatever's preferable period. Yeah, this is a preferable period. Um, while we have this one, we're gonna want to calibrate it. Um, so the calibration they showed these things, right? Now you're gonna want to just exit out of there, and you, before you press calibrate, you're gonna want to um, hold down Option. Are you hold down Option? Then you press calibrate. So once you press the calibrate, sorry I have to put the camera down, once you press the cal uh, option, cal um, then you click on calibrate, more stuff show up here. Now when you continue, make sure expert mode is on, when you continue, um, they just show you like different, like, you know, what to do and just options and settings. This part, see how bright it is? It literally says right here, it may help you to sit back or squint. I wasn't squinting and I'm just sitting back. So like I could see from like back here. That there's the apple now the probably the camera's gonna pick it up because uh, and you guys might see like lines is because I'm running on um, I think 30 frames a second so the rolling shutter in the background is um, happening during the recording now if I do this make sure you guys sit back and you squint I'm zoomed in so I'm gonna be squinting okay I'm squinting there it's gone for me right about there it's gone See, when I want to open my eyes, it's still there. It's weird. When you squint and you sit back, it's gone. Perfect. And when you change your colors, you can see the, the colors changing. See the colors changing? Now I'm going to go back to the middle, squint, and... Let's go back to this right here in the middle. It's perfectly gone. Then I open my eyes, I can see that. I can see the apple. That's just weird. Now let's continue. Now you want to do the same thing on the right side. Let me zoom out so you guys won't get all sick and stuff. Let me zoom out and you squint. Okay, whoa, that's it disappeared already. That's good, perfect. That's good. Uh, so when you sit back. Ah, there, it's gone. I have my eyes wide, I can see it, but it's gone when it when I when you squint. You can probably even squint. Try squinting when you're when you're looking at it. You guys see that on the my my monitor? Try squinting. When you open your eyes, you can see it, right? Yeah. See. Just squint during the video. You'll see. Um, this is the same thing as well. You're gonna squint and oh, actually, it's already good. There you go, this is good. Wow. Okay, let's go see this one. There you go. Wait, hold on. There, holy crap. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, this one too. Is it get darker? It's completely black, like a black screen. Wow. That's amazing. It's like the apple absorbs it. Okay, this one is. Um, make sure you just, the other ones you squint. That's the easiest way. Like no one is, everyone's doing these fancy numbers on YouTube. Just squint. You, you guys would see it automatically. And it's literally making my damn screen super dark. Okay, we're at um, the target gamma and it's set like right around this area. I'm just playing with it and it makes it really like, see it? 
They say it's good to use this one, but it's super dark, right? So, native is right there. Just click native, that's perfect. Um, my screen might be showing that it's dark because, well, let me see if I could um, reset the thing. There, you see how it's like, it gets light. Yeah, the, the camera and stuff is showing that it's really dark, but more contrast on my camera right now. It's really light now. Wow, it looks really nice now. If you don't use a native white point, it becomes like blue and then full white. Then um, tainted orange, uh, whitish, really light, and then blue. You don't want that. So use native white. Um, if you have other accounts, you could, you know, just instantly uh, cancel it out. Um, only yourself the admin. And then I'll name it... Um, my 4K calibrated, yeah. Well, that was weird. Right when I accepted it, it changed. Did you see that? Okay, let's go see the difference here when we sit back. So this is the calibrated and this is the regular one. See, the regular one is really bright. And it's... Man, the camera's not really picking it up, but... Um, comparing it to both the regular one these are down here are really light toned and if you go here the calibrated it's it's much more like sharper on its um the orange here um when you go back to the regular one the water down here is kind of bright it's you know the reflection is not here it's like showing a um the mountains up here i think the mountains oh no this one here this one here the rocks here you see the bottom left now when I go to my calibrated it just turns it a little bit in the shadows in each corner of the of the stuff all right well thank you for watching if you have any questions go ahead and put it down below um, like I said it's simple calibrating you could do regular calibration of just the the white point and stuff but it's best if you're to press um, option so when you tell that you're doing it right, um, when you press option, it will show detect displays. Now if you let option go, it's just gather windows. So you'll know you're going into more of the the hidden features in the Mac um, operating system. All right, thank you for watching.